Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast says brief morning clouds, then plentiful sunshine in the afternoon. Windy, winds out of the northwest 15 to 25, some gusts up to 30, and cooler. So today's highs, they stay in the 50s, nowhere near that 67 we hit yesterday. Tonight, clear skies, diminishing winds, high pressure moves overhead, and that's going to yield some pretty cold temperatures. Overnight, 28 to 32 degrees. Compare that to the near 50 degree readings we had the past two mornings. Tomorrow looks nice, mostly sunny, pleasant. The wind will ease, so if you're not a fan of the breeze, I think tomorrow's a better day for you with highs seasonable in the mid 50s. Looking back at yesterday, there's that top temperature of 67, average is 56. Records are still in the 70s at this time of the year, and just last week we hit a record of 80 degrees. Here's your currents, 46 in Lewistown. We have 50 out the door in Carlisle. Good morning, Lancaster, you're at 49. York, the same, and same for Harrisburg. So temperatures, they're fairly uniform. The atmosphere is well mixed here. We have wind speeds now 10 to about 20 miles per hour. They could pick up to 25 miles per hour this afternoon. One lone disturbance crossing the northeast part of the state. That's going to hit the road shortly. And as it does, the clouds will gradually clear. High pressure builds in from the Midwest, and we're looking at a nice set of days. Today, you do have to battle the breeze, though. I think we'll see that wind diminishing finally tonight as the high pressure center settles overhead. Tomorrow looks great wall-to-wall -wall sunshine with a few high clouds increasing after dark. Now, as we roll into Thursday, here comes our next Pacific storm. This is a mild storm, but I don't think we get out of the upper 40s near 50 degrees on Thursday. It is going to be a little bit cooler. The good news is we get another uh, batch of beneficial rainfall that you see right there on your screen. So it looks like Thursday evening is the best chance to see that widespread light rain. Now the predictor runs through Thursday evening is picking up a few tenths of an inch. I think we could see that again with this system. So it's not going to bust the drought, but at least it's going to be something. 10 day forecast here has another chance for some showers as we head into next Monday. So they come every couple of days. The good news is the weekend is looking dry and pleasant. We have 58 degrees on Saturday, 60 on Sunday, and next week a good mix of some 50s and 60s, which is a little bit above average for this time of the year.